Do you want to change your fitness level? Do you? It's an honest question. I'm not, I don't have like a preconceived idea behind this question. I'm genuinely asking because a lot of times we take this question at face value. So you've really got to dig deep and ask yourself this question. And I'm going to tell you why it's so important in this episode. So strap in, get ready for episode 150. 150, that's insane. (laughs) All right, so let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hey, welcome to this episode. My name is Brian Parody. I will be your host today. If this is your first time listening, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad to have you here. I hope you get something out of this. And if you are a return listener, thank you so much for coming back. I know there's so many different podcasts out there that you can spend your time listening to. So it is truly an honor to have you as my guest today. All right, real quick, if you have not signed up for our text community, please do so. It's a way for you to text me. You can ask me questions. I send out some fitness tips, recipes, just some kick in the ass motivation from time to time. You can sign up by texting the word podcast to 706 222 So do that. What are you waiting for? Unless you're driving, then wait. All right, let's jump in. Do you really want to work out? And I ask this because, you know, I work with a lot of clients and it's easy to tell from people I talk to, from people I work with, whether they're really ready to make the change. We can all pretty much say that, yeah, we would like to be in better shape. I mean, I would like to be in better shape or there's always another level you want to get to. That's kind of a given. But are you really ready to the point of you're willing to do whatever it takes to get there? That's the big differentiation because you can be wanting to change what you look like, what you feel like, but are you willing to put in the work? It's kind of like anything else in life. You know, if you want to move cross country or if you want to start a new career or go to college or start a business, you know, there's a difference between, oh yeah, it would be cool to do this or that. It would be cool to move cross country. It would be cool to start this business. But there's a big difference between actually just saying, oh yeah, that'd be nice and putting in the work it takes to get it done, because it means changing the way you live your life. Let's face it, we're creatures of habit. We don't like things being changed. We like our Friday night going out to eat and our Saturday morning donuts and our Sunday brunches and our Taco Tuesdays and our, you know, the list goes on and on. You get what I'm saying. We love our food. We love our lifestyle because we're comfortable in it. And the thought of changing all that up, well, it's not the most attractive thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to stay the same. We don't like change, as is obvious with all the craziness going on in the world, right? But change is absolutely necessary in order to bring about anything different in your life. You know, I have literally tattooed on my arm, I have the words, fear is the enemy of progress. And we live in this place of a fear. And it's not necessarily like, oh my God, I'm so terrified. But there's this fear of the unknown, this fear of what I have to give up, this fear of what I have to do. You know, I can look back on my life at some of the most difficult decisions I've ever made from joining the military at age 29 when I was like 11 years older than pretty much every single other person in boot camp or moving halfway across the country for a job that may very well fall through to a place that I didn't know, my wife didn't know, having kids. Like I can think of all these scary, scary ass times in my life. But looking back, you know what? Every single one of those times that was the most scary, that's some of the best memories I have. And it led to some of the best things in my life. And it's no different in fitness. You know, it can be terrifying to think, oh, I'm going to have to change everything in the way I eat and the way I I live my life and my lifestyle and going to bed earlier and and getting to the gym and schedule and yada, 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 yada. But guess what? What are you gaining you're gaining health, you're gaining energy, you're gaining looking the way you want to, you're gaining feeling strong and feeling just confident in yourself that you can accomplish something, that you can do something. That's what you have to focus on. It's not what am I losing, it's what am I gaining. And when we make that switch in our mind of what we have to give up to, okay, what am I gaining by this? That's what we have to keep our eyes on. Because Yes, you're going to have to give up some things if you want to change your entire fitness level. Absolutely. 
You're going to have to change the way you eat. You're going to have to change the way you, your activity level. You're going to have to change your thinking, your mindset. You know, that's one thing that I don't feel like we talk near enough about in the fitness world is mindset. Your mindset is everything. Your mind will give up long before your body. Your mind will tell you, oh, you're tired. Oh, you need to quit. But I'm telling you, your body can be pushed to extremes that you don't even know about. If you've never done some kind of fitness competition where there's people screaming at you and yelling at you and encouraging you and you think you're done, but you just keep pushing, you go to a next level and that whole, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard like different athletes or different people who've done crazy things. They, they see it's almost like an out of body experience, like time slows down. I can tell you that that's a true statement because I've experienced it and it's the weirdest sensation, but everything else seems to just go away. You don't hear anything. You don't see anything else. Your vision literally seems to narrow like you've got blinders on like a horse wears and you can't see your peripherals and you're only focused on what's in front of you and your body goes to another level because your body is designed to go hard. Our bodies are incredible things and they're capable of far more than we think, far more than we give them credit for. You you cut your finger, what happens? New skin grows back. It regenerates. It heals. You, your muscles, they come back stronger. They come back healthier. They come back more fit. And so it's so important to really make sure that you are focusing on those things. Those things matter. Those things matter so much. Don't ever think that you're giving up something you're going to miss because yeah, you may miss it for a little while. Yeah, you know, your pizza and your wings and your beer that you're eating every night. You you are. You're going to crave it. You're going to miss it a little bit. But guess what? What you're going to gain is so much better than what you're missing. I promise you, I wouldn't tell you this if it wasn't the truth. Because I know for me, looking back, like giving up sweets and junk food and fast food and all that, like for the how I feel now, how I look now, and the confidence and mental state I'm in now, it was totally worth it. Completely worth it. I don't regret it. I don't ever think, oh man, I wish I just kept eating junk food and sugar and junk and not worked out. Like, no, I never think that. Nobody does. Because what's on the other side is worth putting yourself through the hardship. It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. And I guarantee you, if you look back on events that have happened in your life, you can pinpoint times that you were scared out of your mind, terrified to do something, but it ended up being one of the best decisions you've ever made. I guarantee you there's something in your life you can pinpoint to that. And if there's not, let this be a lesson to you. Now, there's a big difference between fear, like because I believe we have a sixth sense of fear that stops us from making poor choices. But there's another type of fear of the unknown that likes to creep in and keep us in our safe little comfortable bubble. And usually when you're approached by that and you have that fear like, oh, I don't know, this is new territory. I don't know if I can do this. That's the direction you want to head in because that's where change is going to happen. That's where progress is going to happen. Screw fear. Screw the shit it tries to tell you and go for the harder thing. Go for what's scary because it's going to change you. It's going to challenge you. It's going to turn you into a better, stronger, more resilient, confident person. I 110% believe that because I know that's what it did for me. If you had met me, what, 10, 12 years ago, you wouldn't have recognized me. A, you wouldn't have recognized me for the way I looked. I mean, you know, not having my hair now, sure. (laughs) But that aside, you wouldn't recognize me. I wasn't the same person. I wasn't the same person physically. I wasn't the same person mentally. I walked with a stoop. I was shy. I was quiet. I didn't speak up. I didn't say what I thought. Like, I was a completely different person. So I'm saying this to encourage you to take that risk, take that step, choose in your mind to make the change. You've got this. You've got this.